the third eye, the third eye chakra, positive pole or giving mode in female. Okay. Uh, this is interesting. Negative pole in receiving mode in male body. The sixth chakra is very active in a woman and is in the giving mode. The world knows the maximum of its healers to be women as they possess psychic powers. That's why in the earlier times, we used to refer to the women as the oracle that shows the path to man. This chakra in a man is merely in the receiving mode. Wow, the third eye, that's associated with the woman. So now what you were talking about, so how would that associate with the man stimulating her I mean, isn't the mental connected to the third eye, or is it something different? Well, um, yeah, that's that's something, right? So that's something because I don't I don't know if if men put that at the top of the list where they say I want an intelligent woman, but women definitely say they want an intelligent woman. So maybe that third eye has to be stimulated. Now I don't know. I know men don't want. You know, an ignorant woman, right? An unintelligent woman. But women intentionally say they want an intelligent. Like that's one of the the things he has to be is intelligent. Uh, they're stimulated by that. Uh, so maybe that third eye is stimulated by a man. You know who can uh, who can trigger? You know, them. okay, okay. That that made me think of something else. So very likely a woman's definition of intelligent is a whole lot different than a man's definition of intelligent mm. very <laughs> li- very very that. likely very likely <laughs> so what do you see what do you see as intelligent in a man i guess yeah hmm. basically he has ideas out of the box He thinks for himself. He's not manipulated by governmental systems around him or if somebody says, yay, I'm going to just do it. Right. He sits back and thinks for himself. And he's not going to be controlled by somebody else's thoughts. But on the other hand, he's not hard-headed because we all have ideas. He's open to ideas, but his to me, true intelligence is where you can, you can get, cause we all have pieces to the puzzle. I say, it's like, it's a great big puzzle. And, and each of us is one of the pieces. And if we bring all of our pieces to the table, we'll create the whole puzzle and it's going to be wholeness. He is able to look here and look here, but he doesn't take, let's say somebody's, you know, speaking on something. He's able to intelligently pull the pieces from that, that he needs to build his goal but he's not going to take the whole thing with the unnecessary he's going to go in there with a big strainer so to speak and strain out the stuff he doesn't need throw it away keep the other stuff right and how i believe it's supposed to work is those ideas that he has he pings them against a feminine energy whatever it is it can be his mother his sister his colleagues it doesn't matter he pings them against a feminine energy because intuitively she's able to see the third eye is your visionary. She's able to see, okay, we might run into this. We might run into this. Maybe we should, you know, set this in place first or set this in place and set this in place. Right. And then gives it back with the vision added to it where there is no vision. The people perish. That is where there is no third eye activation. So now you look at that. There were most of our indigenous cultures were matriarchal societies simply on that one aspect alone, the intuition. Right. Uh, The men were the warriors, the protectors of the tribe, but the women were the, the, they led through the intuition part of it, not. They were the oracles. But they were the seers. They were the ones that could see the vision. They had the vision of what, you know, down the road, long term, whatever. Right. Um, very interesting. I, I'm loving this. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm listening to you, and I'm thinking, I'm like, wow, you know, a woman, a woman can see a man's potential before he can most times. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And that's the thing, um, you know, I've, I've ran into in, in my line of work and things like that all the time is I can literally see, I can see, you know, I'll hear a man, we have this little piece, this little piece, and I can see something huge he could build. Um, but he doesn't see it and there's no way I can get it across the, the vision to him. I mean, I can share bits and pieces, but it's like, he's not okay. Now he's not intelligent enough to get what we're saying to get that. Right. When we try to share with him the vision and to me, that's submission, submitting the vision to me, that's true submission. When you actually bring the vision, you hear, you see what he's trying to do. You see the huge potential of what he could do, what he could be but he's not moving in that. And a lot of, you know, men tend to be hard headed, which is not intelligent. And right. they're not going to hear what you say when you speak. Okay. Look at this. You know, I can see this. Wow. I can see this. Oh no, I don't need you to over here. You know? Okay. No, you, you know, <laughs> whatever. Right. It's just an imbalance of those, those chakras, you know, the, the positive and negative. Right. I, I, I totally agree. And I, I think that's where the help mate comes in. Mm -hmm. And I, I think people have uh, a misconception uh, of what a helpmate is. I look at it as the man, he, he comes as he is, right? He, he's a protector, provider. He's a warrior. He, he's all that. But the woman says, she's looking him over. She's analyzing him. <laughs> and, yeah. And she's like, yeah, I, I, he, he, this needs to be, he, he has a weakness right here. He has an mm -hmm. opening right here. And it's not to embarrass him uh, no. or, 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 or exploit him. It's to cover him, to, to cover him and, and, it, it, and be it, his it blind, really protect is. his blind side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It really is. And that's, that, that's literally what it feels like. You know, you see what they can be and you see where there, there could be a, a danger of something coming in and messing up what they're wanting to do. Um, and that's, and, and, you know, being vulnerable enough to actually share that, knowing that he's, he might get mad at you. That's true submission that I feel like that's true submission, submitting your vision, what you actually see to right. him, even knowing that he might get mad and reject you and whatever. Right. It's hard. It's very hard to do that. Especially yeah. if you're dealing with a man that has a lot of ego, it's very hard to, to, be willing to, you know, you literally lay down your, you know, you literally lay yourself down to be, you know, trampled on if, if he doesn't like what your what you see through the visionary. Oh yeah, I agree. Uh, and, uh, and brothers, let me tell you, the brothers listening, there are a lot of men that we see that are great throughout history. Uh, and, and currently that have, weaknesses that are not always exposed until they die but they've had women in their lives that have covered them and filled mm -hmm. those holes um i was working i was watching a documentary on uh nat king cole and this guy was a suave <laughs> brother articulate i mean everything was just pristine yeah the, the way he you know slim fit like everything um and watching this documentary, I discovered that his wife dressed him. I always thought that he just had this, this neck, this eye. Right. But right. She, she's like, no, you need to dress this way. And you need to wear a bow tie. And she taught him how to tie a bow tie. And she was his stylist. But no one knew this. I learned this through the documentary. And mm -hmm. there's stories like that throughout history where some men like confidence and they had a woman behind them to say, no, you can do this. No, you, you're going to win this office or, right. or whatever it right. is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They saw it. And if you read uh, Proverbs 31, that was one of my favorite ones reading when I was a child, believe it or not. I just love to read that because it spoke to who I really am, who we as, as women really are. There's nothing that we would love more than to see our man, like it says, uh, her her um, her husband is known in the gates when he sits with mm. the rulers of the land. 
There is nothing that makes us feel happier than being back here in the shadows, watching him be successful, sitting in the gate, speaking with the rulers. It, there's nothing that feels better. I can't even explain to you how that feels <laughs> to be able to see him literally fly and be able to, you know, right. you know, be, be behind the scenes and help in whatever way. Maybe he comes back from sitting with the rulers and he's feeling a certain way. Maybe things right. went wrong in there, but you literally can, like you said, cover him to where you strengthen those spots to where he can just keep on moving forward and, and do the work that he's cut out to do. It, it's, I don't know that I, I always uh, read that and thought that was just the most beautiful thing ever, you know? Um, 